Okay, here's how to write Ghost Rider in Descript. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at here quickly before we start is the ST. As uh, you can see, if you look at the preliminary Descript materials, ST can be abbreviated into this form. Uh, the T can occasionally be a reverse S-curve. It is used when it is ST or TS. So this is ST, this is TS. Quite simple. Also, the ER, we like to put those inside often. The R, the R can be drawn inside of the E. And the G is a curl. The only essential part for a G is a curl. It can be in any direction, on any side you like. As long as you see a curl, you know that's a G. Okay, so let's give this a shot here. Ghost. Let's start with that. G. H. O. S. Now, we could do ST like that, but I very, very rarely use that form. I don't think it looks very nice. I prefer that form. So there's ghost. Now, GH can be abbreviated if you want, because it's so common. G, when H is mixed with a, with a G, you simply have to draw the bar. You don't need the, the, the dash underneath it, because it's obvious. There's no other combination that looks like this, and the GH is such a common, commonly used combination that let's abbreviate it to make it simple. Then you could put the OST directly underneath that. Um, what else can you do here? You could try going G, H, O, S, T. There's a lot we can do with it. Okay, so we've got ghost down. Let's look at rider now quickly. Okay, rider, R, I, D, E, R. Now, as we talked about before, the D and the H are the only ones that are long horizontal bars. So, when we look at this word here, we, we all, whenever you're draw, writing a D, D or an H, you can always ask yourself, is my extra dash necessary, or can I just omit it? The rule is, it's necessary if it's ambiguous otherwise. So, for example, if you're starting a word, for example, he, this is not necessary because D, E looks like this. There's a dash on the top, so for you can write this, and this is he. Completely unnecessary to add the dash. The same applies for D. When there's no word line extending below a D, there's no need to put it. So if the D ends a word, for example, in and, A, N, D, it's added there. Or, for example, if we wanted to add ED at the end of a word, ED, there's no need to add this little bar here. It's obvious that it's D, it could not be an H. Okay, so we've got writer down pat here, and we know that we can eliminate that extra dash, so we can go writer. Okay, that's starting to look a little better. Now let's try to put them both together, make them look a little aesthetically pleasing here. So, G, H, O, S, T, R, I, D, E, R. Now, we, these are, I'm using the combinations that simplify the most. For the word ghostwriter, you very well may like to make the words look more, um, how would we say, logographic. So, uh, maybe we want to s make it seem more like someone is riding something. We want to add more momentum to one side. We start to draw the RI more to an angle. We add the D. And then maybe we don't use the double ER combination. Instead, we put the R like that. Or we go r like so. Now we can start to look like we're riding something, maybe. or It really is a, um, a very subjective art.